Dams don't always hold water back, sometimes they have to let it through. For example, if there's a threat to the dam's integrity or they need to increase supply downriver, then they'll open the valves. Go on, Johnny, really let it rip. Right. Go on. <laughs> Johnny, you've broken it! This valve alone can release over 8,000 litres of water a minute. Now that is a lot of water! <laughs> Turn it off! Turn it off! Now, there are a few dams in the country where a release of water can be requested by anyone. You might be a farmer downriver who just needs a bit more water released to irrigate their land or an environmental group concerned that lower water levels downriver are compounding the effects of pollution. But you do have to pay. For water to be released for a whole day, it can cost £1,500. But despite the cost, an increasing number of people are requesting the release of water so they can enjoy thrill-seeking recreational pursuits. And one of the most popular of those leisure activities on this river is whitewater rafting. But just how much difference can a release of water from a dam upriver make? Well, we're not moving at all at the moment, and the river is just flowing gently. But we've been told that they're going to release a load of water from the dam up above, and this river is going to turn into a monster. With the dam open, the amount of water flowing down this river increases to a massive 900 million litres. That's 50 times the normal amount, which means the boys will be travelling down it 10 times faster than normal. This is the biggest drop on the river. There's a big one! Oh, my word. Oh, my word. <laughs> Without that dam up there, we couldn't do this today. And more and more places across the UK are taking advantage of dams to have fun. Let's do it again, come on. Sounds like a damn good idea to me. For that, you're carrying the raft, mate. 